<laughs> All right, so today I just saw the brand new Paddington movie, Paddington Two, guys. I didn't miss this one because I really, I really liked the first one. Um, so I was like, I gotta make this a priority, but like I was too busy seeing Oscar movies. So like. I barely, like, there's two showtimes in the theater, and I was like, this is Thursday, and I was like, tomorrow it's gonna be gone. So I was like, I made sure to see it today. Excuse me. Oh, jeez. Oh, excuse me, jeez. Um, but yeah, so, um, I, again, just like, it was literally the exact, not the, okay, it felt just like the first movie. It wasn't the same exact movie, but, like, pretty much. Um, but yeah, that being said, it's also a delight. This movie is great. This movie is so much fun. This movie makes me feel warm inside. This movie is so wholesome and good. And I I adore this movie. <laughs> is it better than the first one? Um, no. Uh, I, I don't know. I think it's... Exa- what I said, it's the exact same movie. So, like... Yeah, it's just as good as the first one. Um, it's kind of like... Mm, that's weird, because it's literally the exact same quality movie. Um, I guess if I had to distinguish them in any way, I like the villain in the, this one more. Um, Paddington's great, as per usual. I think the shenanigans are better than, in the first one than in this one. Um, what was it? It's, you got a lot of reoccurring jokes from the first one coming back, which that was nice. The guy, oh, the guy, oh my gosh, the guy who keeps run, like doing security... And um, running into people who are dre- like guys who are dressed up as women, and he like finds them super duper attractive, and like it's so funny because he's just like, like he'll run into Hugh Bonneville in the first movie, and then this movie runs into Hugh Grant, and like he's like, oh my gosh, the most attractive woman ever, and you're just like, oh my gosh, this guy has a thing for dudes, and it was so funny. Um, what else though? Um, Hugh Grant is phenomenal as this like like, uh, actor villain, he, um, he's a lot more fun than the woman, because she was just kind of, like, she was crazy, well, they're both crazy, but this one, he seemed to have more fun with what he was doing, like, she was doing what she was doing because, like, you know, revenge and stuff, he was just doing it because he was, like, money, and, like, he was so, he was much more of a cartoonish villain, and I enjoyed that because I'm watching a cartoon movie, um, Brendan Gleeson was nice as the, um, Knuckles, the ship, uh, the, um, chef guy. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just a delightful movie. I don't really have anything else to say about it. Um, it, oh, it ended perfectly. I remember, end, like, when it ended, I was, like, so happy to just see that happen. Like, it ended really nice. Okay, spoilers. So it ends with his mom. They, they brought his mom to London. Or no, his aunt to London for his, uh, for her birthday. And, like, he goes up and hugs her, and when I saw her, I got goosebumps, because I was like, oh, I know how much this means for Paddington, which is amazing. Um, like, that a movie can do that <laughs> with a CGI bear, like, make me care that much. That I'm like, oh, that's so good for him. Like, um, and, like, <laughs> I just, this movie made me so happy. <laughs> like, I was in such an awful mood, and then I watched this movie, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, there's so much good in the world, and I'm so happy right now. And just like, oh, it's just so nice, you know, oh, oh, it's so optimistic and like, you know, Paddington's such a great, like you care about Paddington so much and like, oh, I love these movies. I hope they keep making Paddington movies until forever. Uh, I thought it was great in the sequel sense, like the stakes did feel raised. Mm, Well, she was going to kill Paddington the first one. This one, he was going to lose a book. Um, so, I don't know. I, yeah, exactly. It's the same kind of, like... They're the same movie. <laughs> they didn't really feel like... I don't know. But that being said, it's a great movie. So, um, you just saw a great movie again. Um, but, yeah. Um, it was definitely darker. Yeah, it was darker. It was the dark. That's what I meant. When it, like In the sequel sense, it's darker. Um... But yeah, um, that's pretty much all I have to say about Paddington. Uh, five, ooh, am I going to give it a 5 out of 5 or 4 out of 5? Do I give the first one a 5 out of 5? Then I give this one 5 out of 5 because like, I would probably, I'd watch these again. They're just nice. And they're all really funny. I laughed out loud like several times in this movie. Um, but more importantly, I want to talk about the other crap that all the other studios are putting out. The trailers 
before this movie were horrendous. Peter Rabbit, horrendous. Romeo and Juliet, horrendous. Pandas looked cute. Um, but like, honestly, is this the kind of same kind of crap? Like, Peter Rabbit's the same kind of movie. It's a live action with like, you know, CGI, you know, like animals, and you know, the whole movie's about shenanigans. And this movie looked miles, miles better than Peter Rabbit. And Romeo and Juliet, are you kidding me? That was terrible. They're all just poop jokes. No, fart jokes. They're all just jokes about farts. And they think they're so... They're not funny at all. Like, they're just bad. Like, ah, why? Is this still what we're doing? We're still making movies about fart jokes. Like, I get it, they're for kids. But I don't even think I liked fart jokes when I was a kid. Like, that's such base, like, lowest common denominator type of humor. And it pisses me off. Like, you're never going to catch up. Do you ever see Pixar doing a fart joke? Honestly. Does Disney do a fart joke? No, they don't. Catch up, other studios. It's not that hard. Really, the funniest thing you can come up with is someone farts. Oh, Teen Titans Go! That also looked cool until it was just the big joke was a big fart joke. Like, is it just me? Or is it like... Because there's literally every single movie I saw a trailer for, fart joke. Like, they were all just fart jokes. And it made me really sad. Because I'm like... Because Paddington doesn't have any fart jokes. Paddington's just nice, wholesome... And, and, oh, you mean, you mean there's a way to make a kid, Adam, it's a kid's movie, kids love that, ha, 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 well, adults don't love that, there's a way to make a kid's movie good that appeals to adults, too, check Paddington, check Pixar, check Disney, oh, my God, all these other movies look terrible, except, what was it, the one, Small Foot, that looked nice, um, it's made by Warner Brothers Animation, which made Storks. So I'm like, yes, I will go see that. Yes. Um, but yeah, wow. Paddington really makes other movies look awful. Like, really bad. Like, cringe bad. I'm, I, and I, they, <laughs> I, just like Winchester, I feel ashamed for all those other movies. Paddington is so far ahead of all every other kids movie of its type but yeah um, that's my soapbox about stupid kid movies and their fart jokes and like like when does that work what movie is it there is there that like is super good and it's based around fart jokes um, I think there's one fart joke at the beginning of Shrek actually there's several jokes like that in Shrek um, where like where like gases are coming out of the body um like, he burps a lot. That's a thing. But, like, that's a thing. He's an ogre. Like, it's part of his character. Um, Swiss Army... I don't know what you're thinking. Adam, you love Swiss Army Man, and it's just fart jokes. I'm like, yeah, because they, like, were doing something where it was, like, they wanted to make a movie where, the like, the first fart makes you laugh, and the last fart makes you cry. And I cried when I saw him farting away. So... Uh, yeah. If, okay, I might be wrong. I might watch Romeo and Juliet, and then I'm laughing at a fart joke. Like, I'm crying at a fart joke. And it's just, like... And then there was a naked gnome dancing around. And there's just all these really just bad puns. Oh, my God. Like, I, th- I remember seeing Romeo and Juliet, the first one, and it was... It was all, it's all right. It's a nice little movie. But this, like... Like, oh, they mashing up John, like, stories also. So it's like Sherlock Gnomes. Yeah, it's Sherlock Gnomes. That's what it's called. Um, and, like, I guess. But, like, I don't know. I'd be ashamed if I made any of the movies that were coming out that I saw in theater. Like, in the, those trailers. I'd be really ashamed. Because um, how can you sit there and make that crap and then go, like, while other things like Paddington 2 are out... And, you know, be like, you know, it's just, it just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. It's not that hard. 
it's possible to make a kids movie that's good that's not filled with fart jokes and it's really sad that we don't get, understand that <sighs> well um, I'm home I'm not at my home I'm at Rachel's home it's probably park and I'm not her dad's spot that'd be nice um, but yeah uh, other than that though yeah give me more Paddington movies yeah, like literally, just like Paddington 3, 4, 5. I want to make as many Paddington movies as there are Harry Potter movies, and that's a start. Um, so, yeah, that's that's pretty much all I got. Um, guys, please go watch Paddington 2. Uh, Adam, if you are 40 and you're listening to this, um, then go watch <laughs> go watch Paddington 2. Go, go pick it up, you know? It's, it's pretty nice. Oh, my God, 10 minutes. Wow, bye.